Welcome, ladies and gentlemen! Today Formula 1 for the first time comes to Malaysia. Let's do our usual routine and take a look at the order of the starting grid. Row 11 consists of Toro Takagi on Eros and Minari's Luca Badoya. Their teammates, Pedro de Rosa and Max Gené, have taken row 10th. Right next is Jan Trullo and Prost, and Brazilian driver Pedro Diniz is 17th. Alex Zanardo and Williams has qualified 16th, and alongside him is Gianna Lazio and Zalba. After taking a pole position in the previous qualification, Franson is just 14th, Ricardo Zonto and BAR 13th. Olivier Panis takes 12th place, and Benetton's Fisichella is 11th. Despite being one row down, world champions duo Villeneuve and Hill remains intact. Ralph Schumacher qualified 8th, and Alex Woods and Benetton took 7th place. Stewart is riding high after triumphant European Grand Prix, as Barrichello and Herbert are on 3rd row. McLaren drivers are both in 2nd row, Kulhan managed to make score 3 12 against Hakkinen. Eddie Ivan qualified 2nd, and what a comeback by Michael Schumacher! He was eager to unleash his pace and took the pole position. Lights out and race begins. Hakkinen did it start great, but both Ferraris and McLarens have managed to retain their starting positions. 17 points difference between Hakkinen and Ivan makes it possible that the Norin Irishman may become a champion today. Meanwhile, Stewart's duo has been split by Alex Woods and Ralph Schumacher efforts. Physical and Hill had a contact, which forced Damon to retire from the race. He now only has Suzuka left before his retirement from Formula 1. As he has promised during yesterday's qualification press conference, Michael Schumacher allows Eddie Irvine to pass him with no issues. Team strategy is in priority. While Schumacher's goal for now was to hold both McLarens behind, David Coulthard has a different opinion on it and managed to quickly pass two-time world champion during the following lap. The battle for constructors and world championship is on. But on lap 15, Schoolhard's car has stopped. Ferrari has all the momentum now. Race leader Eddie Ivan is going to the pit stop. He's the first one from the leading drivers to do so. Unlike Norbert Ring's misfortune, all goes smooth and he's back on track on third place. Close to Mika Hakkinen, who is still due to a pit stop. Villeneuve was putting pressure on Wurz, but got carried away and did several spins before catching the car back on track. Mika Hakkinen is in for his second pit stop. Eddie Ivan, who has already was there twice, easily passes Mika. And not only him, since Johnny Herbert and Stewart has moved to third place. With three laps to go, Ferrari makes a team order, so that Michael Schumacher allows Eddie Ivan to pass him again. Such points advantage would be more than enough, even if Hakkinen passes Herbert. Mika is doing just that in the following lap, but it seems that it's too late now. And just like that, the Northern Irishman Eddie Ivan is the Formula 1 1999 world champion. Ferrari makes a double as race went perfect for them. Team orders or not, Ivan can finally celebrate. It happened, ladies and gentlemen. We have got a new world champion crown today. Eddie Ivan won both the title and the race. Michael Schumacher's comeback was probably one of the key factors for it to happen. McLaren's strategy set a leading walk to how it was expected. Mika fought till the end, but third place was his maximum today. Stewart drivers Hebert and Barrichello have once again made a strong showing, finishing 4th and 5th respectively. Frenson is 6th, Alais is 7th, Woods on Benetton 8th, Genet has once again scored points for Minardi, and Zenati has closed the top 10. Fastest lap has been set by Michael Schumacher, and since he has finished second, he takes an extra point as well. Twenty-seven points distance between Ivan and Hakkinen, with one race to go, means that there are no mathematical chances. Even if Eddie doesn't finish and Mika wins with taking the fastest lap, there still will be one single point between the two. There are no changes at all in top 11th, but right next is Johnny Habit, after two fantastic races, is just three points behind the 9th place. Alex Woods dropped to 13th place and John Lazy has passed Marc Genet for 16th place. Constructors' championship still in contention, but Ferrari is 37 points ahead of McLaren, so team from Maranello is a huge favorite. After what may feel as a season-long battle for fourth place between Williams and Benetton, suddenly Stewart has entered the room and is only four points behind Williams. Suzuka's race will give us all the answers for remaining questions. This was Malaysian Grand Prix, first of many in years to come. 
Once again, congratulations to Eddie Ivan for becoming 1999 Formula 1 world champion. But as we remember, it's still not the end. See you in two weeks at Suzuka. So long, everybody.